This channel is proudly sponsored by Flux Fantasy, an anime-style alternate 1990s tabletop role-playing game where you wield the power of karmistry to manipulate reality itself. Check out the core rulebook and many other things. You will find the links in the description and in the pinned comment. And the Red Room Publishing. Please check out the link to their store for exclusive tabletop RPG products. They have recently released Wretched Noir a setting of stark contrasts and flickering hope for the free wretched RPG. You will find the link in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi, welcome to this part of my review featuring the Walking Dead Universe RPG. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this zombie apocalypse tabletop RPG based on the popular franchise, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about gear. Most gear will give you a gear bonus. Of course, this is a positive modifier to your skill roll when using it. For example, if you employ advanced medical gear, you get a plus two to medicine. If you utilize a compass, you get a plus two to survival. If you use lockpicks, you obtain plus two to stealth. If you employ a dog, you get a plus two to close combat. With time, everything will break or wear out. This can happen either as a challenge that the game master introduces or as a result of messing up a skill roll. You can repair your items, but this requires time, resources, and it is usually a project in your haven. When it comes to the quality of items, when the player characters find an item, the game master may roll on the table to determine its quality. If an item's quality is determined to be bad, it has the issue bad quality. This means that it is likely to break, which may lead to a challenge for the player character. However, you could also find OK items, or items of extremely good quality. When it comes to ammunition, this game does not have a granular system for tracking ammunition. If you have a gun, you probably have some ammo. But it is possible to run out of ammo based on context, or if the game master introduces this as a challenge, or as the result of a skill roll. For example, when you roll for ranged combat, and things go pretty bad. You have many close combat weapons such as knuckle dusters, knives, small axes, crowbars, spears, sledgehammers. Even your foot or fist counts as a weapon. When it comes to ranged weapons, you have throwing knives, bows, shotguns, sniper rifles, submachine guns, even hand grenades, rocket launchers and tank cannons. And this concludes this part of the review, in the next part we are going to talk about vehicles. Gear, weapons, any sort of tool, they are all handled quite neatly and easily in the game. That is, you are not going to be figuring out complicated values for your items, for the tools or weapons that you are employing. I also like it that many pieces of gear have a simple modifier, that's it. For example, in the case of the dog, it only gives you a plus two value to close combat. So it's very easy, you don't have to manage many things at the same time. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel through PayPal or drive through RPG, the information will be in the description and in the pinned comment. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, in tabletop RPGs, it's not about what you want your characters to do, it's about what your characters are doing. Once again, thank you and see you later.